Chapter 1 Introduction to Fasting Fasting is one of those ancient practices that has stood the test of time. Whether for spiritual reasons or health benefits, abstaining from food and drink for a set period has fascinated people for centuries. It's not just about giving your body a break from food, though that's part of it. Fasting can serve as a reset for both mind and body. Historically, fasting has been deeply intertwined with religious practices. From Catholics observing Lent to Muslims fasting during Ramadan, the concept has been used to purify the soul, strengthen discipline, and foster a deeper connection to the divine. In many spiritual traditions, fasting is seen as a path to enlightenment. It's a time to reflect, pray, and reconnect with what truly matters, putting aside the distractions of daily life, including food. Interestingly, even outside of religious contexts, people have discovered the multi-level benefits of fasting. Whether for mental clarity, emotional balance, or health benefits like weight loss and detoxification, fasting has become a tool for modern living. What makes fasting so compelling is that it works on multiple physical, mental, and spiritual levels. But before we delve into the benefits and methods, it's crucial to understand the roots of fasting. Knowing its history is vital to appreciating why it has remained relevant even in our fast-paced, food-abundant world. Many people who fast today are looking for more than just physical results. They're seeking a deeper connection to themselves, a sense of peace, or a way to simplify their lives. For some, fasting feels like hitting a reset button, stripping away the excess to focus on what truly matters. Whether fasting for spiritual enlightenment or to shed a few pounds, the underlying principle is discipline, mindfulness, and self-control. The connection between mind and body is at the heart of fasting. When you fast, you're not just putting your physical self to the test, but also exercising your willpower, mental focus, and emotional resilience. It's about gaining control over your body and your cravings, which can feel empowering, especially in a world where we're constantly bombarded with food, convenience, and instant gratification. Fasting isn't just about going without food, it's a holistic experience that can help you realign with your values, goals, and inner strength. Whether you're drawn to fasting for spiritual reasons or curious about the health benefits, there's a deeper wisdom in the practice that's worth exploring. In the following chapters, we'll examine how fasting has evolved over time, its scientific and health benefits, and how to approach it safely and effectively. We'll also explore how fasting can sharpen mental clarity and why so many people report feeling more grounded and focused when they fast. Whether you're a seasoned, faster, or completely new to the practice, this guide will provide you with a comprehensive understanding of fasting from multiple perspectives. Chapter 2. The Science Behind Fasting Now that we've explored the historical and spiritual significance of fasting, let's shift gears and dive into the science. While fasting has long been associated with religious practices and personal discipline, modern research has uncovered numerous health benefits beyond weight loss. Fasting can have profound effects on your metabolism, immune system, and even your brain function. When you fast, your body transforms from using glucose, sugar, for energy to burning stored fat. This metabolic switch typically occurs around 12 to 24 hours after your last meal, depending on your body's energy needs. As your glucose levels drop, your body starts producing ketones, which are chemicals made from fat that provide energy for your brain and body. This process, called ketosis, is a powerful transformation that can effectively burn fat, inspiring you to try fasting for its health benefits. But fasting does more than burn fat. Studies show that it can improve insulin sensitivity, a major factor in preventing type 2 diabetes. When insulin levels drop, your body becomes more efficient at using energy, which can lead to better blood sugar control and reduced risk of diabetes. Fasting also triggers a natural and holistic process called autophagy, where your cells clean out damaged components and regenerate. Think of it as your body's natural way of spring cleaning, a process that has occurred since birth. Autophagy plays a key role in reducing inflammation, fighting off infections, and even slowing down the aging process. Some researchers believe that intermittent fasting, 
in particular, could help protect against diseases like Alzheimer's and cancer by promoting this cellular cleanup. In terms of mental clarity, fasting has been linked to improved focus and cognitive function. Ketones, those chemicals your body produces during fasting, are a more efficient energy source for your brain than glucose. This might explain why many people feel more mentally sharp and alert during a fast. Some studies even suggest that fasting can help protect the brain from age-related cognitive decline. As we delve deeper into the benefits of fasting, it's clear that the practice is much more than just a tool for weight loss. By triggering processes like ketosis and autophagy, fasting offers many physical and mental health benefits. And as we'll see in the next chapter, it can also sharpen your mental clarity in ways you might not expect. Chapter 3. Fasting and Mental Clarity We've already discussed how fasting affects your body, but let's explore how it influences your mind. Beyond the physical benefits, many people are drawn to fasting for its mental and emotional effects. While abstaining from food may seem like it would cloud your thoughts, the opposite is often true. Fasting can actually enhance your mental clarity and focus. One of the reasons fasting can boost mental sharpness is tied to the metabolic switch we discussed in the last chapter. When your body enters ketosis, your brain is fueled by ketones rather than glucose. Ketones provide a more stable, longer-lasting source of energy for the brain, which can lead to improved focus and concentration. Many people report feeling more alert and mentally clear after fasting. Fasting has also been shown to reduce brain fog. In today's constant information overload, feeling mentally drained or overwhelmed is easy. Fasting gives your body and your brain a break. By clearing out toxins through autophagy, fasting helps your brain function more efficiently, resulting in clearer thinking and quicker decision-making. You might find that tasks that once felt overwhelming become more manageable when your mind isn't weighed down by distractions or sluggishness. Another aspect of fasting's effect on mental clarity is its impact on neurotransmitters. Fasting can increase the production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, a protein that supports the growth of new neurons and helps improve overall cognitive function. BDNF is often referred to as fertilizer for the brain because it keeps brain cells healthy and fosters new neural pathways. Increased levels of BDNF have been linked to enhanced learning, memory, and even emotional resilience. In addition to boosting focus and clarity, fasting can also improve mood. Studies suggest that fasting increases the production of endorphins, the body's natural feel-good chemicals. This may explain why many people experience an elevated mood or a sense of euphoria during fasting. Combining mental clarity and a positive emotional state can leave you feeling more balanced, less reactive, and better equipped to handle stress. On a deeper level, Fasting encourages mindfulness. Without the constant interruption of meals, snacks, or cravings, you have more space to reflect and tune into your thoughts and emotions. Fasting can help break the cycle of emotional eating, where food is used as a coping mechanism for stress, boredom, or anxiety. By removing food from the equation, you're forced to confront those feelings head-on, which can lead to valuable insights and personal growth. However, it's important to remember that fasting's effects on mental clarity can vary from person to person. Some people experience an immediate boost in focus, while others might feel more sluggish at the beginning of a fast before reaching a state of clarity. This is why listening to your body and giving yourself time to adjust is crucial, especially if you're new to fasting. As you continue to explore fasting, you'll likely notice that it's not just your physical body that benefits your mind becomes sharper, your thoughts more precise, and your emotions more balanced. Fasting helps you cut through the noise of everyday life, offering a sense of mental calm and focus that's hard to achieve in a world filled with constant distractions. In the next chapter, we'll explore how fasting plays an even more profound role in spiritual development, linking its mental clarity to deeper states of awareness and spiritual growth. Chapter 4 Spiritual Aspects of Fasting While fasting offers clear physical and mental benefits, its spiritual dimensions make it truly transformative for many people. Across cultures and religions, 
fasting has long been regarded as a pathway to enlightenment, self-discovery, and a deeper connection to the divine. But why does fasting have such a strong connection to spirituality, and what can it offer those who aren't necessarily religious? At its core, fasting is about more than just abstaining from food. It's an act of discipline, self-control, and sacrifice. By voluntarily giving up something as essential as food, you're practicing detachment and signaling that you can prioritize higher, more meaningful pursuits over immediate physical needs. This act of surrender can create a space for introspection and spiritual reflection. In many spiritual traditions, fasting is used as a way to purify the body and mind. For example, in Christianity, fasting is seen as a form of penance and a way to deepen one's relationship with God. In Islam, Ramadan is a time for fasting, prayer, and self-reflection, intended to foster gratitude, empathy, and discipline. The deprivation of food during fasting sharpens the focus on spiritual matters, encouraging practitioners to turn inward and reflect on their purpose and values. But you don't need to be religious to experience the spiritual benefits of fasting. Many people find that fasting helps them cultivate mindfulness, a deeper sense of presence, and a greater awareness of their thoughts and actions. Without the usual distractions of meals and cravings, there's more space for contemplation, meditation, or simply being in the moment. Fasting can strip away the noise of daily life and provide a window into your inner world, where you can connect with your true self. Fasting also has a unique way of humbling us. By stepping back from the act of eating, something we often take for granted, it's easier to recognize the abundance in our lives. You become more aware of how much time, energy, and attention we dedicate to food, and how little we sometimes focus on the more meaningful aspects of life. This newfound awareness can inspire gratitude, empathy for those who have less, and a greater sense of purpose. As you fast, you may find that it offers a sense of clarity, not only for the mind, but also for the soul. This spiritual awakening often extends beyond the fast, influencing your day-to-day -day life in subtle yet profound ways. Whether it's a renewed sense of purpose, a greater appreciation for life's simple pleasures, or a deeper connection to your inner self. Fasting has the potential to transform your perspective on both the material and spiritual worlds. In the following chapters, we'll delve into the different types of fasting and how you can safely and effectively incorporate fasting into your lifestyle. Whether you're fasting for spiritual growth, mental clarity, or physical well-being, understanding the diverse approaches to fasting will help you find a method that resonates with your goals and values. Chapter 5. Types of Fasting Now that we've explored the mental, physical, and spiritual benefits of fasting, it's time to take a closer look at the different types of fasting. Not all fasts are the same, and depending on your goals, whether they're related to health, mental clarity, or spiritual growth, you can choose a fasting method that best suits your needs. While fasting may seem straightforward, stop eating for a while, right? There are several variations, each with its benefits and challenges. Let's dive into some of the most common types of fasting and explore how they differ. 1. Intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, IF, is the most popular fasting method today, particularly for those focused on health and weight loss. IF is less about how much you eat and more about when you eat. With intermittent fasting, you alternate between periods of eating and fasting, typically within a daily schedule. The most common form of intermittent fasting is the 16-8 method, which involves fasting for 16 hours and having an 8-hour eating window. For example, you might eat between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m., and then fast from 8 p.m. until noon the next day. Other variations include the 5.2 method, where you eat normally for five days and restrict calories significantly for two non-consecutive days, or alternate day fasting. The beauty of intermittent fasting lies in its flexibility. You can adjust the fasting and eating windows to fit your lifestyle, making it a popular choice for people with busy schedules. It also allows for a more gradual introduction to fasting, making it easier to stick with it in the long term. Plus, research shows that intermittent fasting can promote weight loss, improve metabolism, 
and enhance brain function without extreme dietary changes. 2. Extended fasting. While intermittent fasting involves shorter periods of fasting, extended fasting consists in going without food for 24 hours or longer. Some people practice 24 hour fasts once or twice a week, while others embark on multi day fasts ranging from 48 to 72 hours or even longer. Extended fasting can be more physically and mentally challenging, but it also offers unique benefits. When your body goes without food for an extended period, it enters deeper states of ketosis and autophagy, leading to increased fat burning and cellular repair. Extended fasts also lower insulin levels, reduce inflammation, and potentially enhance longevity. However, extended fasting requires more preparation and should be approached cautiously, especially for beginners. It's essential to stay hydrated, listen to your body, and know when to stop if you start feeling unwell. Extended fasting is typically recommended for those with more experience, as it can be physically and mentally demanding. 3. Spiritual or Religious Fasting Spiritual fasting has a long history in many religious traditions. As mentioned in earlier chapters, fasting is used in Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, and many other faiths to purify the soul, develop discipline, and strengthen one's relationship with the divine. Unlike intermittent or extended fasting, spiritual fasting is often tied to specific rituals or periods of the year, like Ramadan for Muslims or Lent for Christians. In spiritual fasting, the primary focus is not on physical health or weight loss, but on personal growth and enlightenment. It's about stepping back from worldly distractions, including food, to foster a deeper connection to higher values or a spiritual presence. Spiritual fasting might also involve abstaining from other indulgences, like entertainment or social media, to create more space for meditation, prayer, or reflection. While the goals of spiritual fasting may be different from those of health-focused fasting, the physical benefits often overlap. Many people find that while fasting for spiritual reasons, they also experience mental clarity, emotional balance, and improved well-being. 4. Water fasting. Water fasting is exactly what it sounds like, a fast where you consume nothing but water for a set time. People usually practice water fasting for 24 to 72 hours, though some extended fasts may last longer. This type of fasting is one of the most challenging since it requires going without any calories at all, but it's also one of the most effective for triggering ketosis and autophagy. Water fasting is often used for detoxification, giving the digestive system a break and allowing the body to focus its energy on healing and repair. However, it should be approached carefully, as it can lead to nutrient deficiencies if done for too long. It's usually best to consult a healthcare provider before attempting a water fast, especially if you have any underlying health conditions. 5. Juice Fasting Juice fasting is a gentler alternative to water fasting, where you consume only fruit and vegetable juices for a certain period. While you're still abstaining from solid foods, the juices provide vitamins and nutrients to help sustain your energy levels. Juice fasts are popular for detoxification and cleansing, but they don't offer the same benefits in terms of ketosis and fat burning as water fasting or intermittent fasting. Juice fasting can be a good introduction to fasting for beginners, especially if you're nervous about going without food entirely. However, it's important to choose juices that are low in sugar and high in nutrients to avoid spiking your blood sugar levels. Finding the right fasting method. As you can see, fasting comes in many forms, and each type offers unique benefits depending on your goals. Whether you're looking to lose weight, boost mental clarity, or deepen your spiritual practice, there's likely a fasting method that will fit your lifestyle and needs. If you're new to fasting, intermittent fasting or juice fasting can be a great place to start. These methods are more flexible and allow your body to gradually adapt to going without food for extended periods. As you become more comfortable with fasting, you can experiment with extended or more challenging approaches like water fasting. The key to success with any type of fasting is listening to your body. Fasting is a powerful tool, 
but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. What works for one person may not work for another, so it's important to be patient and allow yourself time to find what works best for you. This will empower you to make the right choice for your body. In the next chapter, we'll explore how to prepare for fasting, both mentally and physically, so you can get the most out of your fasting experience while avoiding common pitfalls. Chapter 6. How to Start Fasting Safely Now that you understand the different types of fasting and their benefits, it's time to explore how to start fasting safely. Whether new to fasting or looking to refine your approach, preparation is key to ensuring a positive experience. Jumping into a fast without properly preparing your body and mind can lead to unnecessary discomfort and may even undermine the benefits you're trying to achieve. In this chapter, we'll cover practical steps for getting started and tips for making the transition as smooth as possible. 1. Start with small steps. If you're new to fasting, it's best to ease into the process. Start by trying intermittent fasting, which allows you to adjust to going without food for shorter periods. For example, try fasting for 12 hours overnight, with an eating window from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. As you become more comfortable, you can gradually extend your fasting window to 14 or 16 hours. This method gives your body time to adjust without overwhelming it. For beginners, it's important to avoid diving straight into extended fasts or water fasting. These types of fasts require more discipline and can be physically demanding. Intermittent fasting offers a gentler introduction while delivering noticeable benefits like improved metabolism, mental clarity, and weight loss. 2. Prepare your body. Fasting places temporary stress on your body, so it's crucial to prepare it beforehand. Start by cleaning up your diet in the days leading up to the fast. Eliminate processed foods, sugar, and refined carbohydrates, which can make the transition into fasting more difficult. Instead, focus on whole foods like vegetables, lean proteins, healthy fats, and plenty of water. This helps balance your blood sugar and minimizes hunger cravings during the fast. Hydration is also essential. Ensure you're drinking plenty of water before you begin your fast, as dehydration can intensify feelings of hunger and fatigue you. You might also want to incorporate herbal teas or broth, especially if you're planning a longer fast, as these liquids can provide minerals and electrolytes that help sustain your energy levels. 3. Mentally prepare for the challenge. Fasting is as much a mental exercise as a physical one. Your mindset going into the fast can make or break the experience. It's important to set realistic expectations and understand that feeling hunger is normal. Many people are surprised by how quickly their hunger subsides after the initial wave passes, and that's often when the mental benefits of fasting, such as increased clarity and focus, start to kick in. Having a clear intention for why you're fasting can help keep you motivated, whether your goal is to lose weight, detox, or cultivate spiritual discipline. Remember this purpose during the more challenging moments of the fast. Some people find it helpful to journal their thoughts or meditate before and during their fast to maintain a calm, focused mindset. 4. Plan your fasting period wisely. Timing is everything when it comes to fasting. You can choose a time that works for your fast that matches your lifestyle and responsibilities. If it's your first time fasting, you may want to avoid starting during a busy or stressful week. Instead, pick a day when you can rest if needed and aren't overwhelmed by demanding tasks or social obligations. For example, starting a fast over the weekend may give you more flexibility to focus on your experience while also giving your body time to adjust. On the other hand, if you're incorporating intermittent fasting into your routine, selecting an eating and fasting window that fits your daily schedule is essential. If you work a traditional 9-to-5 job, you might choose to break your fast around noon and have your last meal in the early evening. 5. Stay busy during your fast. One of the biggest challenges people face when fasting is the constant temptation to eat, especially if they have free time. Boredom can often be mistaken for hunger, so keeping yourself busy during your fast is a great way to take your mind off food. Plan activities that don't center around eating, including taking a walk, reading, 
working on a project, or practicing mindfulness techniques. Consider light, stimulating activities like yoga or meditation for longer fasts to keep your energy balanced. Physical activity can help curb hunger by reducing stress and improving your mood. However, if you're engaging in extended fasting, avoid strenuous exercise as it can deplete your energy too quickly. 6. Know how to break your fast. Breaking your fast properly is just as important as the fast itself. After fasting, your digestive system has been in rest mode, so it's crucial to ease back into eating gradually. Start with small, nutrient-dense foods that are easy to digest, like bone broth, soups, smoothies, or steamed vegetables. Avoid jumping straight into a heavy meal, especially one high in fats or carbohydrates, as this can overwhelm your digestive system and lead to discomfort. If you're breaking a shorter intermittent fast, a balanced meal of lean protein, healthy fats, and fiber-rich vegetables will provide your body's nutrients without spiking your blood sugar. For extended fasts, it's even more important to reintroduce food gradually, starting with liquids, and moving toward more solid foods over hours or days, depending on the length of the fast. 7. Listen to your body. Fasting should never feel like torture. While some hunger and discomfort are expected, especially in the early stages, listening to your body's signals is essential. If you start feeling lightheaded, dizzy, or overly fatigued, it may be a sign that your body isn't coping well with the fast. In those cases, it's better to break the fast and nourish yourself rather than pushing through and risk harm. For those with underlying health conditions, such as diabetes or a history of eating disorders, it's critical to consult with a healthcare professional before starting a fast. Fasting can be incredibly beneficial, but it's not suitable for everyone, and safety should always come first. Conclusion. A safe start leads to long-term success. Starting fasting safely is all about mental and physical preparation. By easing into the process, staying hydrated, and maintaining a mindful approach, you can avoid common pitfalls and set yourself up for a successful fast. It's important to remember that fasting is a personal journey. Everyone's body reacts differently, so be patient with yourself as you find the method and rhythm that works best for you. In the next chapter, we'll tackle the inevitable challenges of fasting. From managing hunger to dealing with social settings, we'll explore strategies to help you overcome these obstacles and make fasting a sustainable part of your lifestyle. Chapter 7. Challenges of Fasting. No. No matter how well you prepare, fasting has its challenges. From hunger pangs to social situations, plenty of hurdles can test your resolve. The good news is that these challenges are manageable, especially with the right mindset and strategies. In this chapter, we'll explore the most common difficulties people face during fasting and how to overcome them, so you can stay on track and make fasting a sustainable part of your lifestyle. 1. Dealing with Hunger Pangs the most obvious and immediate challenge of fasting is hunger. Feeling hungry is a natural response when depriving your body of food, but hunger isn't always as unbearable as it seems. Hunger often comes in waves, intensifying and subsiding, rather than growing continually. Understanding this can help you manage hunger better when it strikes. One of the best ways to handle hunger is to drink water. Often, thirst is mistaken for hunger, so staying hydrated can help curb your appetite. Herbal teas, sparkling water, or a splash of lemon can also give you something to sip on that feels more satisfying than plain water. Additionally, bone broth can be a lifesaver during longer fasts, providing hydration and electrolytes without breaking your fast. If the hunger becomes distracting, I encourage you to try engaging in a light activity if you don't mind. Taking a walk or stretching can help take your mind off the feeling. Interestingly, physical activity can also suppress appetite for short periods by redirecting your focus and encouraging your body to release endorphins, which improve mood and reduce stress. It's also helpful to remind yourself that feeling hungry isn't harmful. It's a normal part of fasting. Your body is simply adjusting to the absence of food, and hunger doesn't always mean you need to eat immediately. 
With time, you'll likely notice that the hunger pangs become less frequent and intense. Two, energy dips and fatigue. Feeling tired or sluggish is another common challenge, especially during the early stages of fasting. As your body transitions from burning glucose to burning fat, you might experience a temporary dip in energy. This is particularly true if you're used to eating regularly throughout the day, as your body has to adjust to new energy sources. The good news is that once you enter ketosis, where your body begins using stored fat for energy, your energy levels typically stabilis and may even increase. In the meantime, it's important to pace yourself. During the first few days of fasting, give your body time to adjust by avoiding intense physical activities or stressful situations that could drain your energy. Rest when needed and focus on lighter activities such as walking or gentle yoga. For longer fasts, you might also find it helpful to take short naps throughout the day to recharge. Remember, your body is working hard behind the scenes, and giving yourself a break is okay. 3. Social Challenges One of the most difficult aspects of fasting isn't the physical discomfort. It's navigating social situations. Food is often at the center of social interactions, whether it's a family dinner, a work lunch, or a holiday gathering. The pressure to eat can make it hard to stick to your fasting plan, especially if others don't understand or support your decision. One strategy for dealing with social situations is to plan. If you know you'll be attending an event where food is involved, try to time your fasting window so you can eat during the gathering. For example, following intermittent fasting, you could shift your eating window to align with the social event. If eating isn't an option, be open but polite about fasting. You don't need to go into great detail about why you're fasting, but simply explaining that you're taking a break from food for health or personal reasons is usually enough. Most people will respect your choice, and some might even be curious to learn more. If you don't want to draw attention to your fast, you can always focus on other aspects of the event, like engaging in conversation or sipping on a drink. 4. Cravings Cravings differ from hunger. They're driven by emotional or psychological factors rather than a genuine need for food. Cravings can be one of the biggest obstacles during a fast, especially if you're used to eating for comfort or out of habit. Foods high in sugar or carbohydrates trigger dopamine in the brain and are often the hardest to resist. To combat cravings, it's important to recognize them for what they are, temporary feelings that will pass. When a craving hits, distract yourself by engaging in an enjoyable activity. Going for a walk, reading, or focusing on a hobby can take your mind off food and help the craving subside. Mindfulness can also be a powerful tool for managing cravings. When you feel a craving, pause and ask yourself what's driving it. Are you truly hungry? Or are you bored, stressed, or emotional? Acknowledging the craving without acting on it can reduce its power over you. Additionally, planning your meals during your eating window can help reduce cravings. If your diet during eating periods is nutrient-dense and satisfying, you'll be less likely to crave unhealthy foods during your fast. Ensure you're getting enough protein, healthy fats, and fiber to keep your body fueled and your cravings at bay. 5. Headaches and dizziness. Some people experience headaches or dizziness during the initial stages of fasting. This can be due to dehydration, a drop in blood sugar, or an imbalance in electrolytes, especially if you're fasting for an extended period. To prevent headaches, make sure you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day. You can also add a pinch of salt to your water or drink electrolyte-rich beverages like coconut water or herbal tea with sea salt to maintain your sodium levels. If you're following an intermittent fast, make sure to eat balanced meals during your eating window to stabilize your blood sugar and provide the necessary nutrients. If you experience persistent dizziness or lightheadedness, listening to your body is important. Sometimes these symptoms indicate that your body isn't adjusting well to the fast, and it may be time to break it early. Always prioritize your well-being and consult a healthcare professional if these symptoms continue. 6. Breaking the fast carefully. As mentioned in the previous chapter, breaking a fast improperly can lead to discomfort, 
and even negate some of the benefits you've worked hard to achieve. The urge to eat a large, satisfying meal immediately after fasting is normal, but it's important to reintroduce food slowly and mindfully. Start with something light and easy to digest, such as a smoothie, bone broth, or a small salad. Gradually work your way up to more complex meals, being mindful of how your body responds. Rushing into heavy foods can cause digestive upset, bloating, or discomfort, so listening to your body and pacing yourself is important. Overcoming fasting challenges. The challenges of fasting are real, but they are also surmountable with the right approach. Understanding and preparing for these obstacles allows you to navigate them more easily and stay on course with your fasting goals. Remember that each fast is an opportunity to learn more about your body, habits, and resilience. Every challenge you face and overcome strengthens your resolve and brings you closer to your goals. As you continue fasting, you'll likely find that many of the difficulties you once faced, like hunger, cravings, and social pressures, become easier to manage over time. Fasting is a practice that builds mental and emotional strength, and each experience is a step toward mastering this powerful tool. In the next chapter, we'll examine fasting specifically for weight loss, exploring how fasting influences metabolism and fat burning, and how to develop a fasting plan that aligns with your weight management goals. Chapter 8. Fasting for Weight Loss. Fasting has gained immense popularity as a weight loss strategy, and for a good reason, it offers a unique approach to shedding pounds beyond just restricting calories. Fasting helps you manage your caloric intake and shifts the way your body burns energy, making it a powerful tool for fat loss. In this chapter, we'll explore how fasting impacts your metabolism, its role in fat burning, and how you can create a fasting plan tailored to your weight loss goals. 1. How Fasting Affects Metabolism Contrary to what many believe, fasting doesn't slow down your metabolism. In fact, during short-term fasts, your metabolism may increase. When you fast, your body releases norepinephrine, a hormone that boosts alertness and energy by increasing the breakdown of fat for fuel. This process ensures you have enough energy even without food, preventing your metabolism from crashing. Research shows intermittent fasting can increase metabolic rate by 3.6% to 14% in the short term, particularly during the first 48 hours of fasting. As your body shifts into fat-burning mode, it starts using stored fat as its primary energy source, which leads to fat loss over time. Unlike traditional calorie-restricted diets that can lead to muscle loss, fasting tends to preserve lean muscle mass while targeting fat stores. Extended fasts can also promote deeper states of ketosis, a metabolic state in which your body relies primarily on fat, converted to ketones, for energy instead of glucose. This fat-burning state is one of the key reasons fasting is so effective for weight loss. 2. Fasting versus Traditional Diets One of the biggest advantages of fasting over traditional dieting is that it doesn't require constant calorie counting or food restriction. With fasting, the focus is more on when you eat rather than what you eat. This makes fasting a more sustainable and less stressful approach for many people. Traditional diets can also lead to metabolic adaptation, where your body reduces its energy expenditure in response to prolonged calorie restriction. This can result in weight plateaus or even weight gain once you resume regular eating habits. Fasting, especially intermittent fasting, avoids this by allowing periods of normal caloric intake during eating windows, preventing the body from going into starvation mode. Additionally, fasting promotes insulin sensitivity. Lower insulin levels encourage fat burning because high insulin levels signal your body to store fat. Your insulin levels drop when you fast, allowing your body to access and burn stored fat more efficiently. This makes fasting an especially effective strategy for those who struggle with insulin resistance or have difficulty losing weight through traditional diets. 3. Building a Fasting Plan for Weight Loss When fasting for weight loss, there isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. The key is finding a method that aligns with your lifestyle and is sustainable over the long term. 
Here are some common fasting methods that are particularly effective for weight management. 16 Tactor 8 Method This is one of the most popular forms of intermittent fasting, where you fast for 16 hours and eat during an 8-hour window. This method is relatively easy to maintain and works well for those who prefer eating two larger meals daily. 5.2 Diet With this approach, you eat normally five days a week and significantly reduce your caloric intake, usually to 500-600 calories, on two non-consecutive days. This method can be effective for weight loss without requiring daily fasting. Alternate Day Fasting As the name suggests, alternate day fasting involves alternating between days of normal eating and days of fasting, or eating very few calories. While this method can be effective for weight loss, it can be more challenging to maintain over the long term. One meal a day, OMAD. In OMAD, you consume all your daily calories in a single meal, fasting for the remaining 23 hours. This method can lead to quick weight loss, but it's important to ensure that a single meal provides all the necessary nutrients for your body. Consistency is key to choosing which method you choose. Fasting should be incorporated into your routine in a way that feels sustainable. It's also important to remember that fasting is not a magic solution. What you eat during your eating windows still matters. A diet rich in whole, unprocessed foods, healthy fats, and lean proteins will enhance your fasting results and support overall health. 4. The Role of Exercise in Fasting for Weight Loss while fasting can be highly effective, incorporating exercise can accelerate your weight loss results. Exercise during a fasted state can boost fat burning even further, as your body is already primed to use fat for energy. Workouts like cardio, strength, or high-intensity interval training, he can enhance fat loss and help preserve muscle mass during fasting. However, it's important to listen to your body. During longer fasts, or if you're new to fasting, you may feel less energized for intense workouts. Opt for lighter activities like walking, yoga, or stretching until your body adjusts. Working out just before or after your eating window can be ideal for those doing intermittent fasting, as it allows you to refuel and recover more effectively. 5. Avoiding Common Pitfalls While fasting is a highly effective weight loss tool, some common pitfalls can hinder progress. One of the biggest mistakes people make is overeating during their eating windows. The temptation to indulge can be strong, especially after a long fasting period, but avoiding consuming too many calories or choosing unhealthy foods is essential. Focus on balanced meals rich in nutrients to support your body and keep you satisfied without overeating. Another pitfall is underestimating the importance of hydration. Fasting naturally reduces water intake since much of our water comes from food. Be sure to drink plenty of water throughout your fast to stay hydrated, and consider adding electrolytes to your water if you're doing extended fasts. Finally, it's essential to be patient with the process. Weight loss through fasting can vary depending on your body's unique metabolism, activity level, and other factors. While some people see quick results, Others may lose weight more gradually. Stick with your plan, adjust as needed, and give your body time to respond. Six, sustainability, making fasting a lifestyle. One of the most appealing aspects of fasting for weight loss is its potential for long-term sustainability. Unlike restrictive diets that can feel difficult to maintain, fasting offers flexibility and can easily become part of your daily or weekly routine. To make fasting a lifestyle, focus on incorporating it into your natural rhythms rather than seeing it as a temporary fix. Many people find intermittent fasting becomes second nature over time, allowing them to maintain a healthy weight without constant dieting or restriction. The key is finding a balance that works for you. If fasting feels too rigid or causes stress, it may not be the right approach for your long-term goals. But when approached mindfully and with a focus on overall health, fasting can be a powerful and sustainable strategy for weight management. Conclusion, fasting as a weight loss tool. 
Fasting offers a unique and effective approach to weight loss by tapping into your body's natural fat-burning mechanisms. You can create a plan that fits your lifestyle while promoting healthy, sustainable weight loss through methods like intermittent fasting, extended fasting, or alternate day fasting. By focusing on balanced nutrition, staying hydrated, and integrating exercise, you can maximize the benefits of fasting while avoiding common pitfalls. In the next chapter, we'll explore how fasting can be integrated as a lifestyle practice beyond weight loss. We'll look at how it can enhance overall health, longevity, and even mental well-being, making it a valuable addition to a holistic approach to life. Chapter 9. Fasting as a Lifestyle Fasting isn't just a tool for weight loss or spiritual clarity. It can be a sustainable lifestyle choice that enhances your overall well-being. As we've explored throughout this guide, fasting offers numerous benefits for the body and mind. But how do you make fasting a long-term habit without feeling restricted or overwhelmed? In this chapter, we'll dive into how to incorporate fasting into your everyday life, balancing it with your health goals, social life, and personal needs to create a holistic and sustainable practice. 1. Finding the right balance Making fasting a part of your lifestyle doesn't mean you have to fast every day or follow rigid rules. The key is finding a fasting method that feels natural and manageable in your daily routine. For many, intermittent fasting becomes second nature because it aligns with the natural rhythm of their day. Skipping breakfast, for instance, or eating dinner earlier to create a longer overnight fast. The most important aspect of fasting as a lifestyle is flexibility. You don't have to fast on the same schedule every day, and there will be times when it's okay to take a break, whether due to travel, social events, or other life circumstances. Think of fasting as a tool you can use regularly, but not as something that defines your life. For example, some people find fasting three to four days a week best. Others might prefer shorter fasts, like 12-hour fasts, during the week, and longer fasts, such as 24-hour fasts, on the weekend. The beauty of fasting is that it can be adjusted to fit your needs and goals without feeling like a burden. 2. Integrating fasting with healthy eating One of the biggest misconceptions about fasting is that it allows you to eat whatever you want during your eating windows. While fasting gives you more freedom than strict dieting, your overall diet still plays a crucial role in how successful fasting will be for your health. Combining fasting with a nutrient-rich diet can amplify its benefits. When you break your fast, it is essential to focus on foods that nourish your body, promote steady energy, and support your long-term health goals. A well-rounded diet of whole foods, lean proteins, healthy fats, fiber-rich vegetables, and fruits will help you feel satisfied without overindulging. Here are some tips for combining fasting with healthy eating. Prioritize whole foods. Processed foods, sugary snacks, and refined carbs can lead to energy crashes and cravings. Stick to whole, minimally processed foods that are nutrient-dense. Focus on protein and fiber. These two macronutrients are essential for satiety and overall health. Protein helps with muscle maintenance and repair, while fiber keeps your digestive system running smoothly and helps control hunger. Incorporate healthy fats. Foods like avocado, olive oil, nuts, and seeds provide essential fats that help sustain energy levels and promote brain health. By combining fasting with mindful eating, you create a sustainable lifestyle that supports weight management and long-term health. 3. Fasting and Mental Well-Being Beyond physical benefits, fasting has a profound impact on mental and emotional well-being, Many people report feeling more focused, calm, and present when they fast regularly. As fasting removes food-related distractions, it opens space for mindfulness and reflection. This clarity can lead to greater productivity, creativity, and emotional resilience. When food is no longer a constant focus, your mind can concentrate on other things, whether it's a project, a hobby, or personal growth. One of the surprising aspects of fasting is how it can help break emotional eating patterns. By taking a step back from the constant availability of food, 
you can gain greater awareness of your eating habits. Fasting helps you distinguish between hunger and cravings, driven by boredom, stress, or emotions. Over time, this heightened awareness can lead to a healthier relationship with food, where eating becomes more intentional and less reactive. For those interested in mental and emotional well-being, pairing fasting with mindfulness practices, such as meditation or journaling, can deepen the benefits. Fasting naturally complements these practices by fostering an environment of simplicity and introspection, which can help reduce stress, anxiety, and overwhelm. 4. Fasting for Longevity and Disease Prevention Fasting isn't just about feeling better in the present. It may also have long-term benefits for longevity and disease prevention. Research suggests that fasting can play a role in reducing the risk of chronic diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and neurodegenerative conditions. One of the key mechanisms behind fasting's longevity benefits is autophagy, the process by which your body clears out damaged cells and regenerates healthier ones. Autophagy has been linked to slower aging and a reduced risk of diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. By encouraging your body to repair itself, fasting can potentially help you live a longer, healthier life. Fasting also lowers inflammation, improves insulin sensitivity, and reduces oxidative stress, all major factors in aging and chronic disease. While more research is needed to fully understand the long-term impact of fasting on longevity, early studies are promising. For those looking to optimize their health for the future, incorporating fasting into their lifestyle is a proactive way to support their body's natural defenses and promote long-term vitality. 5. Sustaining Fasting in the Real World one of the biggest challenges in making fasting a lifestyle is balancing it with the realities of everyday life. Social events, holidays, travel, and stress can all disrupt your fasting routine. But the key to long-term success with fasting is flexibility and resilience. When it comes to social events, it's helpful to be adaptable. If you're invited to a dinner party during your fasting window, you can adjust your schedule or enjoy the event without worrying too much about breaking your fast. Remember, fasting is a tool to support your life, not to control it. Similarly, when traveling or dealing with a busy period at work, you can modify your fasting routine to fit the situation. For example, you might shorten your fasting window or do a more relaxed version of intermittent fasting. The goal is to make fasting work for you, not to force yourself into rigid rules that add unnecessary stress. 6. The Long-Term Benefits of a Fasting Lifestyle When you adopt fasting as a lifestyle, the benefits go far beyond weight management or short-term health improvements. Over time, fasting can transform your relationship with food, improve mental clarity and emotional resilience, and support long-term health and longevity. Fasting teaches discipline and mindfulness. It helps you learn to listen to your body, distinguishing between true hunger and emotional cravings. It also simplifies your life by reducing the need to constantly plan and prepare meals. Fasting frees up time and mental energy for other pursuits. For many, fasting becomes not just a health strategy, but a philosophy. It's a way of stripping away the excess and focusing on what truly matters, whether your health, relationships, or personal growth. By integrating fasting into your life in a balanced and sustainable way, you can enjoy these benefits for years to come. Conclusion, fasting as a lifelong practice. Fasting offers far more than short-term health benefits. It's a powerful lifestyle practice promoting physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. By finding the right balance, combining fasting with mindful eating and embracing its flexibility, you can make fasting a sustainable part of your life. Whether your goal is weight management, mental clarity, or long-term health, fasting provides a framework that supports a holistic and fulfilling lifestyle. In the final chapter, we'll summarize the holistic benefits of fasting and reflect on how it can be integrated into a well-rounded approach to living a healthier, happier, and more purposeful life. Chapter 10. The Holistic Benefits of Fasting as we conclude this journey into fasting, it's clear that fasting is much more than a simple health trend or a weight loss tool. 
It's a holistic practice that touches on every aspect of well-being. Fasting can transform your relationship with food, enhance mental clarity, support spiritual growth, and promote long-term health. In this final chapter, we'll reflect on the overarching benefits of fasting and how it can be integrated into a balanced and fulfilling life. 1. Physical Health and Healing At its core, fasting offers numerous physical health benefits, ranging from weight management to enhanced cellular repair. The process of autophagy, which we've discussed in earlier chapters, is one of the most powerful effects of fasting. This self-cleaning mechanism helps your body clear out damaged cells and regenerate healthier ones, reducing the risk of chronic diseases and supporting longevity. Another key benefit is fasting's impact on insulin sensitivity. By lowering insulin levels, fasting helps your body better regulate blood sugar, which can prevent or manage type 2 diabetes. It also promotes fat burning, making it an effective strategy for weight loss and fat loss, particularly around the midsection, where fat is often linked to an increased risk of heart disease. Additionally, fasting reduces inflammation, a significant contributor to various chronic conditions, including heart disease, arthritis, and even certain types of cancer. By reducing the body's inflammatory response, fasting can help you feel better, move more freely, and lower your risk of long-term health issues. Finally, fasting supports digestive health. By giving your digestive system a break, fasting allows your body to focus on repair rather than constant processing. This can alleviate issues like bloating, indigestion, and sluggish metabolism, and improve gut health overall. Two. Mental Clarity and Focus One of the most immediate and noticeable benefits of fasting is the boost in mental clarity and focus. Without the distraction of frequent meals or snacks, many people can concentrate better and feel more mentally sharp during their fasts. The production of ketones, which provide a steady energy source for the brain, plays a vital role in this enhanced cognitive function. Fasting can also reduce brain fog and improve decision-making, making you more aware of your body's signals and energy levels. By fasting regularly, you cultivate greater mental discipline, which translates into better focus and productivity in other areas of life. For those dealing with stress, anxiety, or overwhelm, fasting can be a way to declutter their minds. By simplifying their daily routine and removing the constant focus on food, fasting creates space for mindfulness and reflection this mental stillness can lead to greater emotional balance and resilience, helping them handle life's challenges with more grace and calm. 3. Emotional and Spiritual Growth Beyond the physical and mental benefits, fasting offers profound opportunities for emotional and spiritual growth. By stepping away from the constant cycle of eating and indulgence, you open space for self-reflection and a deeper connection with your inner self. Fasting teaches patience, discipline, and self-control. It forces you to confront your relationship with food and the emotional triggers that often drive overeating or unhealthy eating habits. Through fasting, you can break the cycle of emotional eating, gain a new perspective on hunger and satiety, and develop a healthier, more intentional approach to nourishing your body. In spiritual practices, fasting is often seen as a way to purify the soul deepen one's connection to a higher power, and cultivate inner peace. Even outside religious contexts, many people find that fasting helps them become more mindful, present, and grateful. By removing the distractions of food, fasting invites you to focus on what truly matters, your relationships, personal growth, or spiritual journey. For those seeking a deeper sense of purpose or connection, fasting can be a powerful tool for introspection, and self-discovery. Whether you want to reconnect with your spiritual roots or find more balance, fasting creates the mental and emotional space needed for this reflection type. 4. Fasting as a Lifelong Practice The beauty of fasting is its adaptability. Unlike restrictive diets or rigid wellness routines, fasting is a practice that can evolve with you as your needs, goals, and lifestyle change. Whether you start with intermittent fasting, experiment with extended fasts, 
or focus on fasting for spiritual growth, there's always room to adjust your approach. Finding the balance that works for you is the key to making fasting a sustainable, lifelong practice. You don't have to fast every day or follow a strict schedule. Flexibility is essential to keeping fasting enjoyable and manageable over the long term. As discussed in the previous chapter, incorporating fasting into your lifestyle in a natural and intuitive way leads to lasting success. Fasting isn't a short-term fix or a quick weight loss hack. It's a tool for long-term well-being. By integrating fasting into your routine, you'll reap the physical, mental, and spiritual benefits and develop a deeper understanding of your body's needs and rhythms. 5. A Balanced Approach to Life At its core, fasting is about balance. It's about knowing when to nourish your body and when to give it rest, when to indulge and when to exercise restraint. Fasting teaches you to listen to your body, to honor its signals, and to find a rhythm that supports your well-being. This balanced approach to food can extend into other areas of your life. Fasting fosters mindfulness, patience, and simplicity, positively influencing your relationships, work, and personal growth. By practicing fasting, you learn to embrace moments of discomfort, knowing they are temporary and lead to growth. This resilience can help you navigate challenges in life with more ease and grace. Ultimately, fasting is a practice of self-care and self-awareness. It's a way to nurture your body, clear your mind, and reconnect with your true self. As you integrate fasting into your life, you'll discover that it's not about deprivation. It's about creating space for what truly nourishes you physically and spiritually. Conclusion Embracing the Fasting Lifestyle as we conclude this guide, it's clear that fasting is far more than just an eating pattern or a temporary health trend. Fasting is a holistic practice that touches every aspect of well-being, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Whether you're fasting for weight loss, mental clarity, or spiritual growth, the benefits of fasting go beyond the immediate results and extend into long-term health and fulfillment. By approaching fasting with flexibility, mindfulness, and intention, you can make it a sustainable part of your life. The beauty of fasting lies in its simplicity. It teaches you to slow down, listen to your body, and focus on what truly matters. As you continue to explore fasting, remember that it's a journey, and each fast offers an opportunity for growth and discovery. Fasting is not about restriction or sacrifice. It's about empowerment. It's about taking control of your health, nurturing your mind, and connecting with a deeper sense of purpose. As you embrace the fasting lifestyle, you'll discover that it's not just about going without food. Creating space for more balance, clarity, and well-being 